Cow calf producers that uh, have gone ahead and bred some replacement heifers this spring are entering that part of the year where the nutritional status of those cattle is very, very important. Hopefully within the next uh, month or so, we'll have those replacement heifers pregnancy checked to make sure that the ones that we're keeping are the ones that are going to have a calf next spring. But between now and then, we want to remember that those replacement heifers need to gain anywhere from one to one and a half pounds per head per day. And as we go into the late summer, early fall months, where the pasture quality is declining just due to maturity and in some cases dry weather, then we just aren't providing enough protein to those uh, young cattle to, to reach that level of growth. That means to me that we probably want to provide some protein supplement for those bread replacement heifers say a, a 38 to 44 percent crude protein supplement fed at the rate of about two pounds per head per day will help those young heifers go ahead and digest that lower quality forage much better and achieve those rates of gain that we have in mind. Once we get into the winter months and the forage quality in our Bermuda and our native grasses has declined a, a great deal and winter weather is supplying some additional uh, energy requirements for those cattle, then we probably need to switch over to a lower protein supplement fed at a higher rate, something in the neighborhood of a 20%, uh, similar to a range cube, would be good for these heifers to keep them growing at that one to one and a half pounds per head per day. Uh, some uh, other suggestions might include using soybean hulls, uh, pelleted is a good source of a energy feed for those heifers. Wheat mids is another. You might visit with uh, your feed dealer to see if they have a particular blend that they like to use for those heifers that are going to need just a little more energy. Some producers may choose to use wheat pasture as a feed for these pregnant replacement heifers. I would advise some caution here. If we put uh, bred heifers out on wheat pasture full time and realize that probably won't start until December, those heifers will still gain at the rate of three to three and a half pounds per head per day. And that's just too rapid. They'll get too fat, too fleshy, perhaps have some fat build up in the birth canal. And the result being that we'll have a higher rate of calving difficulty or dystocia at calving time. So if we're going to use wheat pasture, let's use it judiciously as a supplement where we put the heifers out on the wheat pasture one day and off on a dry pasture, Bermuda grass or native pasture, two days. And I suggest two days so that they will uh, go ahead and rustle around and find something else to eat, especially on that second day, rather than just stand by the gate and wait for us to turn them back in on the wheat pasture. No matter which kind of a program, that we choose to grow those bread replacement heifers this year, we want to remember our target is to have them in a body condition score six at calving time. Here's an example on the screen of the, a two-year-old right before calving that I think is in a proper body condition for us to shoot for as we get them ready for that first calving season that they're going to, uh, going to continue to grow they have to uh, go ahead and produce enough colostrum to give that baby calf some disease protection and repair a reproductive tract and cycle back so that they're going to rebreed for their second calf the following year. All of that requires that these heifers be in good body condition at calving time and so I think making plans now is a good idea so that those heifers reach that target of a body condition score six this year. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow-Calf Corner.